Welcome to today's video everybody. I'm in a parking lot and it is extremely windy, but I'm here to fly my drone. I hit up my friends and I said, hey, do you want to fly drones with me? And they said, nah. So uh, I'm going to do it by myself. Welcome to today's video. Shit. Well, hey there, welcome to today's video, everybody. Today, I wanna to show you what's in my bag, what I bring flying, what I fly, all the gear that I use, no bullshit. This is the strongest gear that you can get in 2022 if you're into freestyle quads. If you just wanna cruise cinematic and shit, go buy fucking whatever, go get a bind and fly flight, nobody gives a shit. But if you wanna fly hardcore motherfucking freestyle, this is the gear to get or something. But before we get to that, I wanna show you some flying. I flew a pack the other day. I did some little stick cam for the first time ever. I wanna see how editing stick cam goes. So here we go. If you wanna see a little bit of it, go to my Instagram. You should be following me on Instagram if you're not. I'm only like 800 subscribers away from 20,000 and that would make my <laughs> So you should go do that. But in the meantime, check out this little stick cam rip that I had yesterday. Hey, yo, little Mexico, pass the gas. All right, how about that? Wasn't that a delightful little helicopter flight? You want to know some bullshit? I recorded this whole like 20 minutes of audio, this whole fucking thing, and I had plugged my microphone into my microphone. Pilot ones, the V2s. I use a TBS Fusion module. So this is my second take of doing this entire video. Let's get fucking to it. As far as what I'm ripping these days, I was using my old banger frame, but I didn't want to be a BQA anymore for a reason. So now I'm with Umagod, and my new Umagod frame will drop the end of July ish around there. I'm currently still testing it, it's fucking ready to go. I just want to make sure a couple little things are ready, and that frame will be on the market. The strongest freestyle frame you can get through me and Umagod. Seeing as how it's a prototype frame, I can't really show it to you right now, but believe me, it's pretty fucking cool. But upon this prototype, I like to put my Bot Grinder V4 motors. I've been working on these. This is a version four of my motor. I've been trying to make a $20 bomb ass fucking freestyle motor for everybody for a couple years now, and I think I've just about done it. These things are pretty damn tough. I've only broken one, and I've been using them for like six months, maybe more. One motor. Usually I burn through fucking motors, you know what I'm saying? So I use, this is also me trying to sell you motors. Buy my shit. As far as an ESC, the only one I would ever consider using is the Hobbywing ESC. Currently I use a 45 amp 20 by 20 because I like the 20 by 20 form factor. The flight controller that I'm running on it right now is the Radix LI, the 20 by 20 with kind of a scraped together Emu Flight version on it. Emu Flight doesn't officially support it, but I asked them to make me a target and they did. So thank you Emu Flight, I appreciate you. I did order this X Rotor 20 by 20 flight controller, which just is plug and play to the Hobbywing ESC because they also make the flight controller. So I'm considering switching to these after I try this out. If it flies well, then I'm switching to this flight controller. 
As far as props on this thing, I like to use either the HQ Juicy 37s, 40s, or the FX PB&Js, literally just depending on what's in my bag. What's Whatever, when I reach in, whatever one is on top, that's the propeller that I'm using, but I only use those three. I don't use anything else, but I have heard good things about the gym fan props. For my video system, I only used Rush VTXs because they are the strongest that i found. The 20 by 20 is my favorite, but I also use this weird 1.6 watt one just to blast other motherfuckers out of the sky because I'd be like that. The camera and antenna that I use is literally whatever Foxier sends me. I'm sponsored by Foxier. So when I'm out of shit, I'm like, hey, can I have some cameras and antennas? And whatever they send me, I use. I'm not picky about my video system. I just like to rip. It's freestyle. It's fucking whatever. You know what I mean? So just camera and antenna by Foxier. Good to go. My goggles I like to use, I am a little bit picky about. So I do use the Orca V2, the pilot ones, I believe they're called. Super, super great fucking video with the TBS Fusion module, a TrueRC patch antenna, and this TrueRC match Great fucking video until I beat my VTXs up and then they're just like, whatever. I'm like, whatever. So, you know, it's whatever. I use a Tango 2 for my radio because so far that's the only, I, I don't like airplane radios, like the bigger style ones. I like gamepad style radios. Airplane radios, like that's what your grandfather used when he flew fucking balsa with planes. Why are you using it to fly a fucking drone? I mean, you know, everybody has different hands. I obviously don't give a fuck. I like the Tango 2. I like gamepad style. It's the only one that feels really good in my hands. I'm a big fan of ELRS. So I use ELRS in it. Sorry, Trappy. With the Happy Model Nano module. I keep all of my precious belongings in the Torval Urban Bag when I stick around town and just do like little trips. And when I go on airplanes, I like to use this big ass pyro bag that I got because it's big ass and it's got plenty of room for all my travel necessities, such as uh, pot. I don't bring that many tools with me when I go rip. I bring a prop wrench I've had for freaking ever. I think I got this out of a quad box back in the day. I use a two and a half millimeter and a two millimeter. I had a one and a half, but I lost it. So if you want to send me some tools, my address is below and I'll give you a shout out if you send me some nice tools. I love Love you. I bring this little newbie drone soldering iron with me because I use my TS100 at home and I don't want to lose it. So this is like my little field iron. It does perfectly well as long as there's no wind. You can get the whole, actually the whole newbie drone like little toolkit is pretty badass and like 40 bucks or some shit. I'll put a link below to it, but that's where I got the soldering iron from. As far as extra parts, I don't really bring that much. I'll bring an extra motor in VTX maybe because that's what I seem to be breaking. Although I've got these new V4 motors that don't really break. I pop some VTXs. Cameras are usually fine. I run the Bach grinder frame, so nothing breaks there. I really don't bring that much extra parts when I go fly. As far as vlogging, this little camera that I'm speaking to you on is a Canon M50 because it was cheap and it gets just fine video. I use a kit lens. If you get a camera, it's fun to buy a bunch of lenses, but you'll inevitably probably just use the fucking kit lens to vlog with. I like using this microphone. It's the Rode Wireless One. The V2 is out. The V2 is a little bit better. I just don't want to buy it because this one works perfectly fine. And that's it, really, for my entire setup there. Let me go show you. Let's jump. Let's jump into the computer and I'll show you Emu Flight, how I set up my drone, and then we'll get this fucking video over with. Whoa. All right, let's go ahead and pull up Emu Flight, and I'm going to show you exactly how I set up all of my drones step by step. This is literally going to take under a minute. I go to ports, I set up my smart audio, I go to configuration, I set it as crossfire because it's a ELRS module. I touch literally nothing else. I don't do a damn thing here. I don't do a damn thing here. If this is a tiny whoop, it gets these pids. A seven inch, it gets these pids. Freestyle quad, it gets these motherfucking pids. I do go to my rate profile, however, and I bump RC rate up by two. I don't know why. I just do i put super rate to 75 rc expo to 0 0.25 i make my my max velocity 816 this is the number this is a magic number 816 do whatever over here make this 816 and then make your rc expo about 0 0.25 and that's exactly how i be rolling my receiver i do rt i change everything to rt just so i can remember i don't fucking know why i'm dumb and that's just what i do modes i do an arm mode i do a turtle mode and i do a pre-arm always do a pre-arm kids if you don't you're fucking stupid osd minimal ass osd i do my battery voltage i do the warnings and that's it and boom there we go that's how i set up every single drone ever in my entire fucking life on a move flight fuck a vtx table <laughs> All right, little grinderinos, that's how I set up. Emu flight is super easy. No VTX tables, no tuning. You just put your switches and your fucking rates and you're good to go. Rip some quads, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have links below to all the stuff that I use if it's in stock. Even if it's not in stock, I'll put a link, whatever, just to have a little list of it. But just so you know, all of these fucking uh, my what's in my bag, my everyday carry, any YouTuber that does one of these videos of like what shit they use, it's all fucking affiliate links. It literally is just for them to make money. I don't know if anybody actually cares to tell you what they use. In my case, I'm an idiot and I care to tell you what I use because this is the strongest fucking shit that you can get. There's a lot of YouTubers out there. Buy this, buy this. Here's an affiliate link. They don't really use that shit. They don't care. 
This is the shit that I use. So I'm going to put fucking links to everything. Some are affiliate links, some are not. I don't really give two shits. What I do give two shits about are my patrons. If you didn't know, you can become a patron and get all kinds of cool benefits and shit. And these are some people whose names I like to say, such as Billy Hackett, Diesel Cheeks, Fred805, Matty B, FPV, Stuntstrat76, FPVExchange.com, TT, FPV, Volutronics, and also WAM, FPV. Thank you for being the top tier patrons, but you know what? It's June, and I haven't done my entire Patreon shout out yet. So these right here, this list of names, this is every single person that Patreon, oh, fuck, I need some water. This is every single person that Patreon me in the month of June, enabling me to continue to make these stupid fucking videos, enabling me to go fly drones around, fucking buy plane tickets, buy new parts for all the bullshit that I break that I don't make myself you know what I mean it's pretty cool and they should be recognized hey everybody that's ever patreon me current past and present just know like yo legit I fucking appreciate this shit a lot I really really do oh let me show you this little trick I learned I've been practicing my ventriloquism so here let me see if I can thank the patrons while I drink this water watch this hey patrons for real thank you very much man shout out to all of you I appreciate it yeah, yeah. Okay, it works. So I'm getting pretty good at ventriloquism. Maybe I'll get a little puppet or some shit. Hey, all you patrons, for real, for real, thank you very much. I really, really appreciate all of your support. I literally couldn't be doing this without you. I ain't got shit for affiliate links. I don't make that much money off my products. I just hustle the Patreon, you know what? And I appreciate you. I'm out of breath. Okay, I'm out of breath. I want to go find some cupcakes and get the fuck out of here. Thank you very, very much, everybody, for watching my video. This is legit the good shit to you. So if you need some inspiration for uh, good parts, look through my little list and buy some of that shit. That didn't make any sense. I'm going to get out of here. I promise next time we'll be better. Okay, bye. I just recorded another part of me talking and then I edited it together pretty easy.